Hi, my name is Tristan. We're here at Plastic on Plastics today. Today I'm going to show you how the injection molding process works. So I'm going to show you all the little pellets that go into the machine, um, kind of the flow of the plastic all the way to the end product. Uh, so we're here at the Plascon facility in Delta, BC, and we have about nine injection machines for me to show you today. Let's go. So the first thing is we have little plastic pellets in here that get sucked along this tube all the way up to the hopper. Um, this is what feeds all the plastic pellets down into the reciprocating screw. So these little plastic pellets just look like this. Um, they almost look like little grains of rice. Depending on the color of the product, that's going to dictate the color of the pellets we use. In some instances, we actually add the color up there in the hopper, but for this product here, it's just gray pellets, great product. So here we have a machine that's not in action right now. Hopper's up there. All these plastic pellets get fed into this tube here called the reciprocating screw. So you can't actually see the screw itself. It's covered by this long brown shaft, if you will. Those are the heating bands. So the heating bands heat up the plastic pellets. So they're extremely hot. So they turn into molten liquid plastic. So the reciprocating screw turns as well. And this moves all the plastic pellets to the outside of the heater bands. And with this and with the friction itself, that's how you're melting the plastic. As the screw turns, all the pellets move forward down the screw until they reach the plunger or the tip of the reciprocating screw. Here, the plunger pulls back and shoots forward, and that's what forces all the molten plastic into your mold. This cavity here is where the mold would sit. So this comes together, and when all the molten plastic is forced into the mold, the air escapes out of the mold through little tiny uh, channels called the vents. The molten plastic fills the inside of the mold, inside of the cavity, and then it cools with the help of water or coolant and separates. Afterwards, a mechanical arm comes down and lifts whatever product is in there, lifts it out of the mold for processing. As you can see, every few seconds or so, the arm goes down into the injection molding machine and brings up containers and places them on the conveyor belt. In some cases, when you're making smaller products, you're gonna have all four products or all 10 products uh, coming together in one mold. And this is all interconnected with something called runners. So the runners are the cavity in the mold that connects all the parts. Now the runners are not part of the actual end product. So after the product comes out of the mold, uh, you'll have to process them, meaning you'll have to cut off the runners and separate them from the product itself. So that wraps up today's video. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight on how the injection molding process works and, and a little bit closer look of uh, what happens in our facility. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit us up at plasticonplastics.com uh, and shoot us a call or an email.